I'm using the secret bridge. Press with the thumb and forefinger down into the cloth. That's the magic bridge for draw shots. Top left spin. Like that, break open, perfect. Ooh. Just perfect. Just perfect. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello. Time for another video. Are you ready? So what will I teach you this time? I don't know. We will just see what happens. I will just rack the balls. And uh, if you go to a tournament, you might see that the balls are dirty when you arrive. Sometimes they are clean and it will affect the game greatly if the balls are clean or dirty. This time the balls are clean, so I need to play in a different way. You see that the seven ball was sliding on the cushion, didn't grip. That is the sign of uh, clean balls. Now I will, I will follow the cue ball closer to the two. The, da da the danger is the scratch, so I will not follow that much. I will stop the cue ball somewhere here to avoid the scratch. Ooh, I almost missed the shot. Now I'll draw back the cue ball for the three. I don't really need to draw back too much. I'm still okay on, on the three. Very soft draw. And you can draw soft if the balls are clean. Here I will use a top right spin to change the angle from the bottom rail. Like that. Otherwise the cable would go this way. Make a soft draw shot. Really tough shot. Yeah! I made it. The tough part here is to go from the 6 to the 7. I want to be close to the 6 because I don't know exactly what kind of angle I will have. So, low, low left. I will draw back the cue ball. For the 7, I big come here this way. I think that is good, yeah. No, I missed a shot. I can't believe I missed a shot. I was too, being too quick. I was being way too quick there. I'm using the secret bridge. Press with the thumb and forefinger down into the cloth. That's the magic bridge for draw shots. I, re I revealed something great to you. I will go straight up with the cue ball. I don't want to risk scratching. So I will just go straight towards the 9. Just straight up. That is perfect. And the final 9 is easy. Yeah, let's make another rack. I almost ran that rack. Just a very sloppy, sloppy mistake there. I shouldn't have missed on the six. But with the magic bridge, I was m m able to make it. Press with the forefinger and thumb into the cloth. With other players, nor nor normal players, they just lift it up. It is not correct. You need to press it down. And use a short bridge. You improve your skill by 50% in a day when you do that. Let's make another break. Yep, 
if the balls are clean the one ball usually goes in the side pocket if they are dirty the one ball doesn't go in the side pocket oh really tough shot now can i make a really uh, cut shot into the corner cue ball will go around the table for the three let's see what will happen really think really think cut whoop i hit that <laughs> i hit that too thin hit that way too thin this is a really tough shot here extremely tough extremely tough to get to the three ball getting to the three here is really a nightmare I think the easiest is to make a bank shot, make a two in here. Bank shot. Because I can't go around, around the I can't go around the corner because the nine is in the way. I could, could also I could make it uh, I could make the cable go this way. Hit the seven. I think I will try for that. Hit the seven with the cue ball. Hit the seven with the cue ball. Oh, I did not. I did not hit the seven. If I had hit that too soft, maybe I would have been snookered behind the seven. So, here I need to make a kick shot, and you can make a, this kind of kick shot that is defensive. This is something you can do, okay? But here is a trick you can do here. You can hit the three. You can hit the four with the three ball. The three ball will go in the pocket. Because I can't make the three anywhere. But if I hit the four with the three, the three will go in. So I will play position uh, also for the four. The four ball will go this way. So I want to stop the cue ball close to the rail. Okay. Like that. Four ball went over there, position is good. And the six ball is close to the four. Here I will use, uh, I will push the six with the cue ball after making the four. So I use top, right spin. Like that. I push the six into lower down. Now comes a tough shot because I'm going to get this kind of angle on the seven. So I will just accept that angle. I don't want I don't want to risk scratching here. So I will play straight one, two rails up here for the seven top right spin. I hit it too thin, way too thin. Now I will go make it in the side. I hit that too thin, so the angle did not come this like this, like I wanted, but I'm still okay, just barely okay. Left spin here, to come into the angle for the 9, I hit that too thick, I'm okay. Uh, the, the game is over. I'm going to make another rack. How many times did I miss that rack? I don't remember. It felt like I missed a lot. Yeah, I made a safety. I made that safety there. Yeah, you see... Uh, uh, I went too far with the cue ball, so I was snookered, I had to make a very soft kick, kick safety. But it wasn't effective, because I could make uh, a carom into the side pocket. Let's make another break here. I will follow through with the cue and my body.
you can shoot hard if you make a hard break shot you don't you sometimes don't make any balls on the break seven and eight is really tough what will i do here i can make a safety here and break open the seven and eight that's what i can see here but you see i make a safety hit the hit the one one ball hits the six one ball stops somewhere here keep ball hits the seven gets behind those balls you get snook uh, opponent gets snookered and you break open the cluster but i want to be offensive here i want to be able to run this rack so i will go around the table make the one in the side go around the table for the two so to the right spin here that's good push it the four oh I scratched really that was really unlucky so i want to show you that uh, pushing balls closer to the side pocket is a positive thing very positive that if that can happen so i'm we'll do it again now i miss a shot my dogs are distracting me but you can't hear it through the gas mask like that position for the two now i will draw back the cue ball from the two and uh, uh, let's see i could be here on the three that is okay and i want to when i come out from the rail fr from the four making the four here i will try to break open that cluster low left spin i want the angle on the four here like a cut angle cut angle on the four is good to break open get more speed so i can break open the cluster easy e more easily cut angle now i need to go this way uh, with medium medium speed oh and i missed the four i was focusing on this cluster focus on making the four it's most important yeah I, I, you see what happened there in the previous shot i shot too thick and the keyboard was going towards this cluster now when I hit it too thin, people went this way instead. Should I do it again? I'll do it again. I'm getting oxygen oxygen deficiency from this mask. So this is going to be the last track. So I use left spin here. Top left spin. Like that. Break open. Perfect. Ooh just perfect just perfect except for the eight it is in a tough place but i can make the eight in that corner yeah so i i want to get straight in on the six here maybe push the eight just just a hair to free it a little bit so right spin just push it a little bit even if i don't hit it i'm perfect perfect on the six now i, I want to make sure that i will have a i'm almost straight in on seven maybe even through here on the seven because i want to stop the cable here for the to make the eight in the side or the eight in the corner so i will make a six come out from the rail maybe a little too too much out from the rail and I'm going to kill the cue ball. Extreme right spin and top spin. Try to throw throw in the seven. In the ooh. I want to stop the cue ball close to the rail, so I hit it too thick. 
If I hit it too thin, keeper will come out too far away from the rail. So I'm, go I'm going to do it again. Extreme right spin to kill the cue ball. Now you see, hit it too thin, too thick. I'm not getting so good grip with the side spin. Let's do it again. I'm not getting so much grip here. The, the balls are slippery, so you don't get as much grip. So you need to hit. Uh, I need to hit a little thinner now because I don't get so much grip. Like that. That is, that is good, yeah. That is good. And now, just a simple shot. Follow, follow the cue ball a little, a little bit forwards. Don't make a, you don't want to make a stop shot and stop here on the nine. Just follow it. Just flip a bit forwards with the cue ball. And the final nine. And the game is over. Okay. Really tough to breathe with this mask on. I'll go now. See you later. Goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool. Play pool.